this screen nicely pops out and then you can take it from its like little magnetic pouch. <laughs> Alright guys, we're in for something special. Check out these headlights. Look at that. Like shark teeth in crystal. And here you've got the indicator. How beautiful is that? Like a crystal vase lighting up. And from the front, totally looks like shark teeth, doesn't it? Going all the way around. This here reveals the flying bee mascot. And if you look from the side, it kind of looks like a transformer. <laughs> it looks like Optimus Prime a little bit with his helmet on. And then here you've got these beautiful crystallized wings and the feathers cut out here. The detail is insane. Now come around, let me show you. This is the newest Bentley Flying Spur. actually the fastest saloon in the world and when I say the fastest saloon I'm talking about top speed its top speed is 333 kilometers an hour now some of you might be going okay but that's just a number it doesn't make much sense to me 333 kilometers an hour is only seven kilometers an hour short of my McLaren 720s top speed and my McLaren 720s is a lightweight supercar this is a two and a half ton beast that does almost the same top speed. So it's got a W12 engine and it's a six liter twin turbo, right? And it pumps out 625 horsepower. You come around the back, there's no like real obvious way of opening the boot, right? So if a mate ever picks you up in this car, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to open the boot so you don't look like a numpty. Right here on this B, is where you press and voila she opens up and you've got a decent amount of boot space here very decent so we're looking at like one of the most luxurious cars on the market you guys and it goes from around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars this one is a first edition you can see that here if you ever see this badge it means it's a first edition it's got the union jack here with the number one here and the first edition means that you've got a lot of optional extras already part of this package so i'm going to show you some of those cool like luxurious features just before we move to the interior open this and you see actually probably the most beautiful hood cap i've seen on a car not many people are going to see that except the owner. So that's a nice little detail there. All right, so I've been pretty complimentary about the front headlights. I think they look pretty damn awesome. And Bentley's really been working on like headlights of the future with the concept car. But if you haven't yet seen that video, the link is in the description underneath this. Go check it out. On the back, however, are just a little bit meh. Don't you think? Like there's just nothing that special about them. So when the brakes are on, you just get these two panels light up. Um, this is a, a little slight disappointment, kind of looks very old school to me. And thank you so much to Alain Class Motors, they're here in Dubai, they have such an amazing showroom full of like the best like supercars ever. So go hit them up if you'd like to buy this car. Now let's look at what luxury you get inside. There's the little first edition on the door sill. I'm going to hop in the back because you can kind of be chauffeured in this car. This is Sergi, everyone. You know Sergi by now on my Good channel. Good evening, Mrs. Bondi. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the first cool feature to point out here in the back is actually this screen. Now, it doesn't look like it does much just sitting here, but if you press this button right here, this screen nicely pops out and then can take it from its like little magnetic pouch and now you can kind of just keep this with you on your lap so if you're here in the back and you want to control things such as the screens here I can do that right here so I'm gonna open them all at once look at this everything opens including the skylight it happens very very quickly it's nice, a uh, nice little like synchronized story here in the back. I quite like that. Let's open them so we have a bit more light. You can kind of just keep this with you instead of always having to lean over to press things. It's got that kind of like crisscross pattern here, the diamond crisscross on the back. I quite like that feature. One of the things Bentley I think is doing well in their luxury cars is actually working on upgraded technology. Let's have a look at what we're working with here in the back. These nice little plush cushions. 
Let's just see, does they actually make a difference though? Like, is it just for looks or? Uh, I mean, it's nice. Behind door number one, we have actually just an armrest. But what is cool about this car is in a lot of back seats in luxury cars, you wouldn't be able to move this. So this would just stay put. In this car, you can actually put it up and then you have a third seat so you can fit someone skinny one of your skinniest friends in this seat right here and then on top of that they will obviously want a headrest because we're all so fancy here in the back then you've got these nice mirrors here in the back mirrors are always good oh my god no one told me my hair was atrocious <laughs> okay I'm dealing with like humidity here guys like crazy humidity so it just goes back I don't care at this point that's the back seats let me take you to the front because there's some more cool stuff there follow me all right Sergi your turn to get out he's like no but there's so many buttons so much <laughs> I saw you right. pressing away there in the front right, oh what does this do what does this do this panel here is super cool you see how it's all it looks like all one yes. panel you know how it flows beautifully around here what you can do is press screen here once and it will flick into uh, your display right your infotainment screen yes, but sick. it gets cooler than that if you press it again it actually has another nice. side to it <laughs> and it shows you those traditional dials you've got a compass you've got a timer in case you want to time like your zero to 60 or your tracks or whatever and you've got the temperature hold it in to then hide all of that once again and it goes past the screen and back to that which nice. is quite cool right now what is cool is you've got fan for your butt on both sides oh i feel you it feel it right <laughs> yeah <laughs> so <laughs> that moment when you first get your butt fanned <laughs> yeah, yeah. so you can turn that off and you can get not that you want it now but full heating instead definitely don't want that don't want that but the cool thing is the first time i've ever seen this is you can actually make it auto. You put it on auto. And it reads the temperature of your butt. Yes. And tells you whether you need to be fanned or heated. Exactly. Your butt feels really warm today. I'm gonna cool it down. All right. And I'm only gonna cool it down by like one, one degree. Nice. And then it'll like turn off. Nice. And then it might be like, oh, your butt's too cold. We so need to like warm it up. Ideal butt temperature. Yes. Nice. The back seats are also heated and cooled. So that's quite cool. All four seats have massage. <gasps> you want a massage? I want a massage. All right, let's do this. I've never had a massage inside of a car, That's ever. That's cr crazy, man. All right, type of massage. So it's not just one massage. You, you get to choose the type of massage. It's in French, so let's go for pulsation. Pulsation. Okay, see what you think. Ooh. Can you feel it? Yeah, yeah, it's going to my lower back. Because sometimes I feel like massage chairs and cars are a little bit like, meh. Like they don't do much for me, but is it all right? Is it good? I love it. All right, I'm going to try mine. a massage, I, I can feel it. It's going up my back. Okay, I've got this one on back. A tech element to this car, which is nice, is you've got a lot of different views. So you can change that to navigation. You've got that beautiful view of where you're going. I just say that that's nice because in a luxury saloon or for example, Rolls Royce, uh, nothing changes on the screen in front of you. So they have actually got different like digital screens that pop up um, and different elements that come out. So that's really nice. I like that. I appreciate that. Let's take the fastest saloon car in the world out for a spin. See what it's like. That's so cool. Guys, it has all wheel steering. It's the first Bentley ever to have all wheel steering. What that means basically is that it has a super, super tight turning circle. So U-turns, handles no problem. You're not gonna have to do a U-turn and then go into reverse and then go into drive again and do a three point turn. It's literally just goes straight around. This car weighs two and a half tons, you guys. It is about the same weight as my Rolls-Royce Wraith, but what I find in this car is it feels much lighter than two and a half tons. And when I step on the brakes, you don't feel like this massive amount of weight coming from the back to the Ford and throwing you. The turbos kick in quite quickly. There's not much of a turbo lag, which is nice. Obviously you have to wait that kind of split second, but it's not too bad, I have to say. It has a zero to a hundred speed of 3.8 seconds you guys that is quick did you 
see how easy that was turning into this parking space? That's because of the all wheel steering. Love it. All right, I think that's it. Massive thank you to Alain Class who gave me this car today to show you guys. Bye, we're out.